we are going to go down to Florida. We've got Nathan, he, him pronouns. Uh, it sounds like you've got some evidence for God, Nathan. How are you today? You're talking hey, with guys, Secularity how, and Tom. How you doing? Pretty good, pretty good. Uh, all right. With, I usually... <laughs> Okay. I usually watch this show, but I, you know, usually I see Matt on there and other, uh, the atheist experience I'm, I'm speaking. Sure. Um, and I got Tom and what was your name? Who, who I'm talking uh, to? Secular rarity, but you can call me SR even simpler. Okay. I want to talk about something. Um, you know, it's a, it's a little deeper than what we call like evidence. Cause I don't really use that word a lot. It's, you know, but I'll use it because there's different kinds of evidence like material evidence and different things like that. And usually they're circular arguments and, um, and nobody gets anywhere with it. And usually, uh, that was where I was at for a very long time until I started getting into instinctual evidence and hmm. that word instinctual, uh, I got on more and more because I realized that when I'm in a position of extreme fear or danger, um, whether it's medical, legal, whatever the case may be. If somebody had a gun to my head, I mean, God forbid. But in those moments, those moments, I would 100% refer to God. I would go to, oh, my God, or help me, God, or thank you, God, for my life being saved, or whatever it was. So I just think that on a deeper level that that is evidence for God. And I think everybody has that level. Everybody ha goes to that place. And to mm -hmm. pretend that they don't is being disingenuous, I think. I mean, if... Okay. Yeah, hang on. Hang on just a second. Know, hang on just a second, Nathan, because I think you... Yeah, yeah, yeah. Yeah, I think I think that's a, a good bunch of stuff right there for sure. Um, Tom, what are, what are your thoughts on that? Just kind of first first glance. No, you've been there, right, SR? Mm -hmm. Like what he's talking about, that experience? Yeah, like, uh, sure. I like how you list out legal, medical. Like, Man, I'm sorry for what's going on, Nathan. Yeah, uh, there's... But, there's I mean, there's scary things in life, you know, and, and life is sure, scary. For sure. <laughs> yeah. You're giving us a concept that I think we yeah. can all. Yeah, yeah. We all we all experience these things subjectively. Say, let's, let's be let's be like sincere and and really, sure, really, sure. um, you know, honest, because we can go in circles about evidence for God in the Bible and all that stuff. I'm not even interested in any yeah. of that because yeah. I think those are yeah. just words and making yeah. noises. You know, I'm thinking more on a deeper level. Sure. Nathan, do you feel as if your stance, let's just say, I mean, we could call it an argument, just just a general term, right? Just your stance on that, right? That, you know, you've had that experience. You know, so many other people have had that experience. Do you think your stance is at all weakened if somebody says they have that similar experience, but instead of calling to God, they call to something else specific? Do you think that changes your view? I don't think I don't think the word matters. I don't I think whatever they're 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 saying it's But what if the claim that they're making is mutually exclusive to the other claim that you're making? Like you say God, but they say who's he swats it. Mm -hmm. And who's he swats it actually is or an evil goat Jesus. that sits in the clouds, right? So like what if what if that moment for somebody else is mutually exclusive and contradictory to your Sure. moment like that sure but we still go there don't we we all still go isn't there. that a but isn't that a problem because they're going to a place that is completely counter to what you're going to and you're trying to use that experience of you going to that other place as justification mm -hmm. for the existence of this thing yeah yeah nathan uh, i gotta tell you like I'm, along these same lines if when you get when it's like really like i'm, I'm talking you're you're kidnapped or some something like real severe a lot of people shit their pants. Can we make the claim then? Right. That there's some shit God that <laughs> is like the, the thing that we're really praying to. At the end of the day, it's all I about shit. Hang on. To, I don't want this to go towards fear and anxiety and, and it being attached to that. I, it can happen in a good way as well. Like when a baby is born and you're like, oh, my God, thank you, God. Usually people say the word God. And I just find it funny that atheists hmm. say the same but thing. Yeah, yeah, but Nathan, are you? One. We're no, not no, 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 hang one, on. But they say there's hang no on. evidence towards one. Yeah, yeah. Hang, hang on just a second though, Nathan, because um, it it sounds like you 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 know you're calling to us today at least from Florida, and I guess I wonder uh, how much time have you spent in Kenya? You know, H have you spent a lot of time in Thailand or uh, maybe with 
you know, Aboriginal individuals over in like Australia and stuff? Because I think you would find that that experience no. that you're talking about is one that is very, very localized. And when you go to other places where people have different belief systems, just kind of embedded in their culture in a similar way that Christianity has been embedded in the United States culture in various ways, like you're going to find that their stories are all similar too in that bit. But like, again, it, it's completely contradictory to yours, right? So like you've got somebody out there who has lived his whole life in Pakistan and his response is, inshallah, it, you know, if Allah wills it, right? And so I, he I doesn't, don't, he don't doesn't say anything about anything. God. That's, that's what I'm saying. But, but the claim, what... but the right, I understand that that you're getting very hung up on the words. I'm already past that though, Nathan. I'm in the same boat with you of saying, yeah, a lot of times people will use a slightly different terminology to get at an overall concept that they're trying to discuss, okay? But the problem is not that the word is different. The problem is that the concept that they're trying to encapsulate with whatever word they're using is contradictory to the concept that you are trying to encapsulate with whatever word. And you are both having the exact same experience that you says puts your side above, puts it on top in terms of being accurate. And all I'm trying to say is that if one person has that, if two people have that exact same experience, but are both pointing to contradictory things, we cannot use that experience for justification for either side. Does that does that make sense, Tom? Do you, do you think I'm kind of getting at something here? Or what are your thoughts on that? And then we'll yeah, pass no, it right I, back to you, Nathan. Yeah, Nathan, I'm just in the same event. Like he's talking about two different things. Just imagine like th this. I think what you're saying is that this happens on a human level. And I agree. Right. But then <laughs> depending on where you're born and all these other factors, how, what, what's jammed into your head, you go, I'm choosing this one. Right. It's like a spider web of different things that it can get to. And I don't think we're saying that there's some like anti God that we're it, it could no I feel the same thing I just don't have that that thing is like oh it's like it's a God and lives in the sky beard etc right not that I'm saying that's what you're saying. I ask you a question: I, Have you ever yeah. been in a traumatic situation? And what was the very next thing you said when you got out of that situation? When you were fine? Yes, you know, goodness, and holy <laughs> shit. <laughs> Yes, okay. I have, and holy shit. I've also you said other to things. The shit. You're Calm on down. to the shit. Down, Maybe I made a point. Yeah, 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 yeah. Calm down, Nathan. Calm down. You're getting a little excited, and I don't think it's necessary. And the reason I don't think it's necessary is because, like, the first call that Tom and I took today, like, John was actually in agreement with us a lot more. And I, I really do feel like Tom and I are, you know, like 75% of the way there with you. It's just this last little specific nuanced point. And I guess what I'm getting at is it sounds to me like this whole time, basically, Nathan, you have said that there, there is this thing inside of all the peoples all over the world now in the past and forever in eternity where there's just this little wiring that every so often in these difficult situations, we cry out to something that is bigger and stronger and more cool and awesome than we are. And I, I don't think Tom and I are disagreeing at all on that. Mm -hmm. I just think what we are saying is that it seems to be the case that that doesn't actually point towards any one answer because of the fact that Every time that we run this experiment, we get not only different results, but contradictory results, whether people are using the same term or not. And I think that's the part that we're we're having difficulty kind of kind of getting the nuance out between us. Because again, I I think for the most of what you've said, dude, like we're we're on board. It's just that last little step where you say this experience proves my thing. I don't think it does. And one of the reasons I point to is specifically because that experience supposedly proves something else that is contradictory a hundred percent to what you believe. And that's the reason if we run the same experiment and we get completely contradictory results, mm -hmm. maybe not the best thing to tell us one way or the other, right?
Yeah, but what, time out. You said run the same experiment. You cannot run the same real life experiment over and over. Yes, it, we can. You almost die on a motorcycle. You can't keep Hold almost. Up. Are you telling me that somebody having a traumatic car crash is different from somebody else having a traumatic car crash? Like, yeah, it's not the exact same, you know, Fiat car that got smashed by the 18 wheeler, but like a oh, head on a head on collision is a head on collision, man. <laughs> like, you know, traumatic events happen all the time. And to argue that they're exactly the same, of course, is silly and not at all what I'm saying. But I, I, I would argue you've basically this whole time been saying that those arguments are similar enough because they would have to be to, to prove the point that you're trying to make. Like those traumatic moments for people when they cry out to a deity would have to be similar enough so that you could put a circle around it and go, this is evidence for my thing. So again, I, I really believe we're in the same boat there, Nathan. It's just that you take the extra step to say that this does positively confirm a particular stance that you have. And all I'm trying to say is it doesn't seem to be the case if when doing the same thing over and over and over, we constantly get different and contradictory results. And I, I'm, I'm going to let you say some more stuff, Nathan, but then I promise I'm going to shut up a bit uh, because Tom has not has not talked very much. But give, give us another thought and I'll, I'll kick it back to Tom. You're saying for me? Yeah, go ahead. Yeah. Okay. Yeah, I listen, I I understand what you're saying, but I think there's a bit of fallacy there because what you're saying okay. is uh, the same experiment. I, I'm still confused about that because if you did run an experiment where 99.9% .9 of people that ended up in a major car collision, 99.9% .9 everyone would say, oh, my God, thank God I didn't. They would utter those words. I And if you could... It doesn't have to be God or it could be something, but they're going to think whatever source that they believe. I don't like the word belief, but whatever source that oh, yeah. they feel, okay? And that is a real thing. And I think atheists are in denial of that real thing, okay? That's all I'm saying. You, no, you can't say what are you, that. Hang, hang on a, hang on a second, Nathan. Hang on a second. Hang on a second. That, that, that's some good stuff. I, I'm sure Tom has some stuff to say. Go ahead, go ahead Tom. No, I, I just... I don't know. I feel like we're just we're just going round and round on this. You're saying it's not the word, but it is the word. It's not the word, but it is the word. I think I, I we're not I'm the, I'm not denying it. We're yeah, you can have the experience and you say, "Oh my goodness. Holy shit. That was wild." Mm -hmm. Right? And then you move on. Yeah. What what now? What now? Let me grant you that. What now? Where where do we go? Well, I don't understand. Well, why are you saying well, why are you saying holy shit? Oh my goodness, if in fact, life was not divine. If 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 none of this made any matter, and it doesn't, and we know because that I like that's living. Not, am I not? It doesn't am I not to allowed, be divine. Yeah. Am I not allowed to call out to unicorns? Like, even though I don't believe that they sure. exist, can I not say holy unicorn? Sure, but, but is that like being silly? Because that, that's being silly, though. You don't do why that. Is that any, really, why is that? Why is that? Whoa, hold up. You don't. Right, hold, up, really yeah. silly. hold up, Nathan. You don't know me. A, you don't know me. <laughs> B, I am very silly. And C, like, what does it matter? Is what I'm getting at. If, okay. if anybody in a time of crisis calls in. out to anything else, that individual action does not in any way, shape, or form tell us anything other than the most basic thing, which is in a similar situation, human beings tend to cry out in such a way. Like, but that's not surprising. Like, you go anywhere in the freaking world and kick somebody you know, in their ass, and they're probably gonna go, ow. Yeah. <laughs> that doesn't that doesn't mean that there's yeah, there's God, some God, like God. there's some outside force that is just pain or ow, right? Like it, it's just an expression. It doesn't mm. mean anything more than that. Yeah, but I I think that's a little, and I use the word silly because right now times are getting silly, and I think that we're living in easy times, and you know when times get okay. hard, like during stressful events, World War II, whatever it was, more people started connecting back to God. And I think that's where we're kind of. Yeah, I just feel like that. I just feel like that argument doesn't work in your favor. Nathan is the problem. Mm -hmm. Like, I feel like what that says is that this ideology is something that when things are actually going well, it's not necessary to make things go better. And therefore it, 
in that sentiment, it just feels to me like it's a security blanket or a crutch. And I would probably agree with you. I, I just don't think that that works for your <laughs> argument. You know, a, you know, like, God forbid anything happens to anybody. But when it's something happens, they I can guarantee you they're going to say, thank you, God, or oh, my God. And not okay. be like, thank you. Well, that's, you know, uh, leprechaun. That's fair. I mean, I, I think that's fair that you have that assumption. I think the issue is whether or not you have any proof for that. Right. And again, I, I I'll, I'll use this word again, A, because I love it, B, because you used it. But I think it's insanely silly to assume that somebody who grew up their entire life in Delhi is going to in any way, shape or form. Say the same, say the exact same phrase that you do. And I think not recognizing that is is really doing a disservice to your own your own feelings and beliefs. I know you said you didn't like the word belief, but I think I really Evidence. do. Yeah, I really do think that that should be something that should shake your confidence in that feeling. Um, because if I had an experience and then claimed that that experience, you know, was the 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 reason that I accept this particular thing over here, and then anybody else I knew had a similar experience that went to something different, I would stop saying that that experience is a good reason to believe because apparently it can lead us to two contradictory results. So 